Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a sold-out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. Man, you couldn't fit another fan in here with a crowbar, I'm telling you. There's a whole lot of cheese heads in the house tonight. It sure is. Green Bay knows that they're about to see the greatest superstars in all of sports entertainment. I can't wait to get started. And there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. Not kidding, Cole. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, then I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. Here's the pin. One, two. It goes like two and a half, Cole. Great reversal. That was a textbook reversal. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Yeah. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End the story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is going to go down. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. Man, his opponent looked like a punk with that counter. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're going to win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Paul? These are WWE superstars for crying out loud. Did it. This guy might not have enough to kick out. One, two. Wow, they don't get much closer than that. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. And injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think they're easy pickers. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings. No matter how beaten up they get. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. <laughs> these WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys. Look at the fans, Cole. They know what he's up to. Oh, my God! What a Batista This 
could be three right here. Here's your winner, Batista! Batista.